Hello friends, I am back again with another tutorial. In this video, how do you install MTK VCOM USB driver? It's a preloader driver that you need while flashing a mobile device. So when you flash a ROM in a mobile device, you have to install this MTK VCOM driver. So while installing, you might see the allo sign so I'll show you guys what is that and how to deal with it so how do you fix that error so let's begin from the start so what you gonna do you have to open the browser and then you have to search for the driver it's a become driver for Windows 10 64 bit download so mine is Windows 10 64 bit if you have a different version of window you can search for that so you'll find a number of link on the internet you can see there are number of link you can just uh, click on any one of these link and you can download the driver you can see I have downloaded a driver so here it is uh, it's a uh, Windows 10 MTK become USB preloader plus driver. So this is the driver I've downloaded. It is for the Windows 10 64 bit. So how do you install? So you can see this is a setup information. We don't have a set of files that you can run directly. So if you have a set of files that you can run directly, you can run that by clicking on it. So here's another driver I've downloaded. So here also you can see it's a Windows Bash files. It's a, a smartphone driver for X64. So here you can see it's a SP install. So if you have an application like this, you can run directly. But this is uh, not the uh, proper way because installing this driver with a set of files, it might not work for you guys and you might not find the proper. So always download the driver like this. So it will be a setup information. So download always the driver like this is a setup information. So once you download it, let me show you how to install it. If you have a Windows 10 64 bit, you have to disable the driver signature enforcement. So let me show you how do you do that. And if you are using the other version of Windows, like Windows 8 and all, you may not have to do that. So in order to disable the driver signature enforcement, in a Windows 10 what you're gonna do so here you have a Windows logo give a right click on it on a start and go to setting once you open the setting page you have to click on update and security come down and here you have uh, somewhere you're gonna see okay recovery so click on the recovery come down and you can reach advanced startup here you're gonna see advanced startup so restart now so any of the you can restart anyway now you're gonna choose troubleshoot and then you'll go to the advanced option so if you get a further option to choose, you're going to choose a startup setting. And then here you have a disable driver signature enforcement. So in order to do that, you have to restart first. Now here you're going to see, here you have disable the driver signature enforcement in 7. So you have to press the F7 key. So here you have a number wise you can see so in seventh number you have a driver signature enforcement F1 to F9 so for seven you have so you have to press the F7 key so press the F7 key on your keyboard so you can even use the number key you can read over here if it is giving you the option to use number key even you can use the number key so you have 7 or directly 7 number key so once you have done that you have to wait for a while and your PC will restart and so once it is done 
what you're going to do you can see here I have the driver that I have downloaded now how do you install this driver so just uh, give a right click on this PC or my computer and then go to manage and then you have to go to the device manager once you go to the device manager here you gonna see here you have a desktop so you just have to click on that and then here you have a action you can see add a legacy hardware so go to the action click on action and then add a legacy hardware I hope it is visible to you guys so here is the action on the top and then add a legacy hardware so you will have the windows like this so click on next and then install manually you have to choose install hardware manually and then click on next click on next so do not choose anyone from here just click on next and then here you have have a dix click on have a dix now you have to select the folder you can see you can click over here on browse and then you can show the location where exactly you have a file I have in desktop inside this folder here is a mpk driver that I have downloaded and here it is so here it is windows 10 mtk for 64 bits so I have two different files it's for 86 Windows 10 version 86 it's for 62 uh, 32 bit and this is for 64 bit so you can choose according to your Windows version and you'll get this so you have a number of uh, option you are going to choose we are going to install the USB port so if you need more you can install more here you have a debug port modem port preloader so for uh, ROM uh, flashing for using the flash tool in order to flash the room you need MTK USB port so select that and click on next and then click on next so you'll see this uh, notification so what you're gonna do install this driver software anyway choose that and it will uh, start installing ok the following hardware was installed click on finish and when you install it you are going to see over here in the port if it is hidden you just have to click on this port you are going to see over here port so click on the port so if it is hidden guys let me show you if it is hidden you can see over here its port so you have to click on this ports com and ltp when you click on that here you have a mediatek usb port com5 so you have a yellow sign over here that indicates error so you don't have to worry it's what you're gonna do your driver is already installed just give a right click on it and then uninstall this device now so we are only installing uninstalling the device not the software so you can see delete the driver software for this device so we will not delete the software software is already installed and software needs to be in this computer in order to use the SP flash tool or any flash tool to flash the ROM so do not check this box it needs to be unchecked so never check the box otherwise it will, if you check the box it will delete the software and it will be all gone and you cannot use the any flash tool or any SP flash tool so uninstall it without checking the box now you can see the particular software necessary for the SP flash tool or using any flash tool is already installed so now you have successfully installed this uh, MTK driver in your computer now you can use the flash tool in order to flash you can see you can install the flash tool and you can start uh, flashing your ROM so this is the way how you can successfully install the MTK VCAM driver in your Windows 10 or other version of Windows so you may not have to disable the driver signature enforcement if you do not have a Windows 10 or you are using some other Windows 7 and all 
And every time you want to use the SP Flash tool or any Flash tool, it's uh, you have to disable the driver signature enforcement, and it will, and then only you can flash the room. So guys, if you like this uh, tutorial, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and comment. I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Have a good day.